This is David with technewszone.com doing a test on my Snapmaker um, with a laser. And I finally, after going to CES and talking to people at Snapmaker, figure out it's kind of tricky, but if you're at the right exact distance from the object, which in my case is about two fingers away from the object, my fingers are kind of big, but the, it actually is working and lasering on a piece of wood. So I'm doing a, like a Star David on it, but it seems actually working. You can also tell when it's working properly when the laser looks pink. I mean, just lasering. At any other distance of, other than the right distance, it's not pink, it's white. So as soon as it's at the right distance, the laser looks pink. So it seems to be working. And this is the, let me turn the flash off. That's the image I'm doing. I'm doing it in black and white, not in shades of gray, just to test it. But it's at exactly about two fingers distance from the object, which in this case is working. So next thing I'll do is I'm going to try a, uh, it's on a piece of wood I got from um, another vendor at the show, but it's the only piece of wood I could find in my room. So, I mean, our computer and 3D printing room, but so the, uh, it is actually working and it, printing it. First time I got to work in a while, so it does work. It just, I think I was doing it wrong. So this is Dave with technewszone.com doing a test print on my Snapmaker and laser. It does work. It's a pretty awesome little critter. It does 3D printing, CNC carving, and lasering, which in this case, the lasering is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. So it's going to be a couple minutes, so maybe I'll let it print the whole thing. Without looking at it so I don't go blind, but it is printing it. It's kind of a cool... For a wee little printer, um, it does it does work. It 3D prints pretty well. It, it, it does do the lasering if you do it right, which I finally got it to do it right. So it's a certain distance. I'll measure it when I'm done and see what the distance is. That way, in the future, I'll know the proper height from the object. Just so the proper height from the the, the substrate, which in this case is wood. Because I tried it on cardboard too, and I this wood's thicker, so I had to move it a little bit. But when I'm done, I'll get my ruler or my um, something to measure the distance I know about how high it's supposed to be to work but once I got it to the exact right distance it actually is working so I wish it was an easy way to know what the Z height is right now this is their software probably enough for now at least I know it's working 